Hi, thanks for joining us for the tutorial 7 of SmartMaker Basic Functions. In the previous tutorials using SmartMaker Authoring Solution, we have created application screens for saving, searching, and displaying data in a database and a home screen for connecting individual screens to complete the application's look and functions. In today's tutorial, we will package the application and upload it to an open market. Packaging is a process of converting the application to a single app product that can be uploaded to a market so users can download and install it on their devices. SmartMaker's all-in-one development environment provides tools for creating your application, but also supports packaging and market upload. Before we begin, let's connect the solution to the server. Select Connect Server from File menu in the top toolbar. Leave the default ID, S, A, unchanged, then enter the default password, 1. Click Connect. Once connected to the server, go to Deploy menu at the top and select Create Package. Depending on the device you will be using to test, select from Android, iOS, and Windows application types. Fill out the abbreviation for the app. It should be something that you can recognize quickly. In this case, abbreviation for the app will be Restaurant. Then, enter the app name, which will be the name displayed below the app icon. Select the top file, which is the main menu screen QPM file you have created. Click the file icon to the right, then select My Favorites QPM file. For the product version, leave it at 1.0 for the first packaging. If changes are made in the future, check the upgrade box to update the version information. Now, let's add an icon image. Click on the folder icon in the icon path field, then select the icon image from the path folder. The icon image should have a PNG extension. Click the next button to proceed. For the packaging target path, Select the file path where rest of the application screen files are located. Next, we will configure the database operation settings. Click on the DB Settings button on the right. The first option, Install Local DB on Device, will install the application database only on your device. This option is recommended for a private application meant for personal use. The second option, connect to an external DB server, is suited for application meant for multiple users with capability for simultaneous access. In other words, this option allows multiple people to access your application at the same time. The third option, use in or external DB simultaneously, is an option for an app product that needs to use both local and external DB features together. Since our goal is to test the application on our individual devices, we will select Install Local DB in the Device option as our database operation setting. In the previous tutorial, we have created the database table to store restaurant information entered in the application. Since the table we created was based on a PC environment, we will convert it into a table that can be used on a smartphone. To convert the DB table, Click the button labeled Data Conversion under Internal DB Conversion Process. In the Application Packaging window, all existing database table under the database name DevDB is listed on the left side in a tree form. Unselect all tables by clicking the checkbox on the left of DevDB and select only the tables created for the app program we will be packaging. For our application, we need to check Add Restaurants table. Press the Next button to see the selected table name on the new screen, then click Convert. In the Select Folder window, select the default execution path folder where all the screen files for our application are saved. For our example, we will select My Favorites folder. When you click OK, based on the analysis of the database structure and schema, the authoring solution converts the database table. Although database schema analysis has always been the playing field of professional programmers, SmartMaker allows anyone to manipulate databases with a simple automation tool. When the conversion is complete, close the window and click Next. Now, let's select a folder to be packaged. Confirm that the selected folder matches the default execution path 
and the screens created earlier in QPM file format. In our example, the selected folder should be my favorites, and the folder should contain three QPM files created earlier. If the folder and the QPM files within the folder are confirmed, click the Next button. Finally, when you click Create Package button, you will be able to see the automatic packaging being processed. When the packaging process is finished, a message will appear indicating that the file has been created successfully. Click Finish to complete the packaging process. Now, the application is packaged and we have produced an application package file for our application. An app package file such as AAB or IPA can be submitted to open markets such as Google Play Store or Apple App Store. In this example, we will test release our application to Smart Market. To upload the packaged application, first, select Market Upload from the Deploy menu at the top. If you select Test Release and click Next button, the application package file and the date created will appear. After selecting the package, Confirm that the date and time created are correct. Next, enter application information such as a product name, summary, and detailed description to move to the next step. Click Upload Package. When the upload process is completed, a QR code is generated that you can scan to download and install the app directly on your device. To scan the QR code, use any app or browser with QR scan functions. Let's install the application on the mobile device. If you click the downloaded APK file to start the installation, a series of installation procedures will begin. After the installation is complete, click Open to launch the application. Select Add Restaurants button on the screen and check all the functions of the application are running correctly. Let's test the Save function. Enter a test restaurant information, then press the Save button you can check that it is saved correctly. And if you press the back or next button, you can see that the previously entered data is searched. In addition, if you press and hold the phone number field, the dial function of the phone is activated. And if you press and hold the address, you can see the location information. You can also see that the restaurant search screen works as it did in Smart Builder. If you select the information of the restaurant in the search box and press the full info button, a screen appears so that you can view the information. We can also see the chart function operating correctly. In today's tutorial, we have packaged the application we have created, uploaded it to Smart Market, and tested it on a mobile device in this course of short tutorials. We have completed the process of developing the application from scratch to uploading an app product to Smart Market. In the next series of tutorials, we will take a deeper look at SmartMaker's powerful tools and create an application with advanced functions and complex processing suitable for commercial use. Follow us in the upcoming tutorials and create your very own professional application. Thanks for watching.